Hey, what's up traders? So in this video tutorial, I'll be sharing with you on how you can actually set up your charts to look like the same as mine, right? If you want to have charts looking similar to mine, right? Here is how you can go about it. So the charts I use are basically called MT4, MetaTrader 4. You can Google it, right? Go and Google MT4. And there are a variety of brokers that offers this MT4 platform. Find a broker that you're comfortable with. Chances are they will offer you this MT4 platform. Download the demo and you know you will have something like this platform, like what you're looking. So the thing to note is that your platform may not look like mine initially like this. So what you need to do is right click on the main screen, you click properties. And these are my configuration on how I set the colors of my chart. For example, a bull candle, I use a lime green. Bear candle, I use red. Line graph, I use a lime green, although that's a weird color because I don't really use a line graph. Background is Alice Blue, foreground is black. So these are, I think, some of the parameters to share with you. And you, you may want to pause this video to see these different parameters that are being set up. So once you've done that, all right, I'll click OK. And now you notice that on my chart, you see this blue line here and you see this red line here. Blue line is basically the 50 period exponential moving average. The red line here is basically the 20 period exponential moving average. And now you may be wondering, hey, Rainer, how do I do this? So very simple. Don't worry. I'll go to this button here. I click it. And there's something here called moving average. If it doesn't appear here, you go to trend. And it should appear here as well under moving average. So when you click it, you get a box looking like this. So in this box, in this box over here is the moving average period that you want to use. Since I use 20 and 50, you may want to key in 20 inside, click OK, then you open up this box once more and you click in 50 and then you click OK once again. So this is the color of your moving average and this is the type of moving average you are using. I'm using exponential in this case, so I've chosen exponential. So let me give you an example on how it should work. So I'll delete my indicators right here. So what I'll do is I click on here. There's a moving average here. If it doesn't appear in this area, you go to trend and you should be able to find it moving average. Then since I use a 20, I'll put in 20. I use a red color for my 20 period moving average. I use red exponential. I click OK. So you see the moving average line has appeared. So now I want to bring in the 50 period moving average. What I'll do is I go back down here. I click moving average. I change it to 50. I change the color to blue exponential as well and I click OK. So now you can see both the 20 and the 50 period moving average are on my charts. So depending on what kind of indicators you're comfortable using, you can see there's a wide array of different indicators you can put onto your charts and I'll leave it to you, right? Honestly, I'm just very comfortable with two moving average on my charts. That's all I need and that's all I require. So with that, right, I hope you find this video useful. I wish you all good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.